Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back once again. It's me, Molt. Super stoked to be here with you guys. Um, I'm bringing back a series that I have done a couple times uh, throughout uh, being on YouTube and it's called Real Talk. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am a Christian, I'm a believer, um, and uh, it's impacted my life in a lot of ways and um, I feel like I want to just be able to talk to you guys, um, my fans, my viewers, and for those of you that aren't interested in this kind of video, y'all can click off now, you don't have to hang out, um, but my goal in, in this video is to create a safe place for, um, for people to kind of talk and express themselves. As y'all know, YouTube is a, or, or the internet is a place where people hide behind screen names, um, people hide behind um, the keyboards, on their on their phones or their computers whatever and they use it as a way to um, just be mean a lot of times and 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 be bullies and and pick on people and things like that um, but for me I want to kind of switch that up guys I want to use it as a place to where you can kind of let stuff um, off your chest and, and talk about things you know um, sometimes it's hard to be real with people sometimes it's hard to say hey um, I struggle with this or um, I have anger issues I have um, all of these things going on I don't want to talk about them um, but sometimes it's good to just get it out there and and so um, someone commented this in, in my video and said um, they said that real talk is stupid because people are sharing serious stuff and some of them are faking it um, I don't think that it's stupid at all I think that this is a great opportunity for um, for me to tell you guys about some stuff that I've learned in my life life. Um, I'm 29 years old. I've been through middle school. I've been through high school. I've been through college. I've been through a lot of stuff in my life. And and I love talking about it. I love talking about uh, the things that I've learned from mistakes, the things that I've learned from failures, the things that I've learned from um, all those stages in my life. And, and one thing that I've learned is being able to talk about stuff and not keeping things inside is super important. Even if you just type it out, um, typing out something that you're struggling with like typing out something that's hard is so much better for you than going on and hating on somebody or anything like that. And that's bound to happen. This this comment section is gonna be full of, of people who are so opinionative and who are just so negative and, and that's bound to happen and, and I'm sorry for them, uh, but you can't do anything about it. You can't make everybody happy. So this person that said real talk is stupid, I can't make you happy. I don't think that it's stupid. A lot of people like it and they say that it helps them out a bunch. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I have some things written down on the Note app and uh, we're gonna talk about it, okay? So first of all, somebody said I'm really shy and I need help breaking out of my shell. Um, I used to be super shy too. I was a really little kid um, in middle school, super short, really tiny. Um, and I was hyper, uh, <laughs> I had ADD, I was like all over the place, and, and I would have periods of, of not being shy, going around being crazy, jumping around, et cetera, et cetera. But then something would happen to where, say a bully would, would say something mean, or um, something would happen in my life that would make me not as confident, and that would bring out that shyness again. Um, I just wanna let you know that like being shy isn't really bad. Um, you know, you can't really do too much about it. The thing is, being confident in yourself is what's important. You know, I'm Michael. I can't do anything about that. Yeah, I can go legally change my name, but I can't change who I am. I can't change um, my thought process. I can't change um, the things that make me happy. I can't change the things that make me sad. I can't change um, a lot of stuff because that's me. That's how my brain is scientifically wired. And so for you, if you're shy, it's okay. Um, just work on, on building up confidence in yourself, stepping out of the box a little bit at a time. You know, don't do something really, really big. Um, that is really gonna throw you out of your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone a little bit. Try new things, try and break out of your shyness. And also, over time, as you grow up and you become more confident in yourself, as you experience more things, as you meet new people, you're gonna be a little bit less shy. So, hold on, everybody goes through it. Not everybody, I definitely went through it as well. And now I'm not really that shy anymore. Um, next, self-conscious about weight. Um, being bullied for it. Um, that's crazy. Um, you know, there are people that are overweight and there are people that are underweight. I was always the kid that was underweight. I was always the skinny kid. I still am pretty skinny. Um, and it's always been a challenge for me. Um, the thing that I would say about it is do something about it. You know, do something about it. If you're overweight and it's hard for you to work out or it's hard for you to run, 
try and figure out a way to do it anyways. For me, gaining weight is super hard, and so I had to set myself a schedule. I had to go about these things, and it takes time. You can't, you can't get upset when it's been a month and you've only lost X amount of weight or you've only gained X amount of weight. Then you can't be upset if something happens that makes you go back to where you were. You know, like sometimes I'll have a really stressful uh, week at work and something will go on in my life that'll just make me kind of stressed out and, and I end up losing weight and I'm like, come on, like I'm back to where I was. But you have to realize it's okay. You go through ups and downs and everything. Um, again, just be confident in, in who you are. and. You're the only one that can control your weight. You're the only one that can control your image. You can't control what other people think about you. You can't, you know? And, and if you think that you can, you're fooling yourself and, and you're fooling those people because it's never gonna be true. You can't control what people think about you. Um, you can control what you think about yourself. That's for sure. You can most definitely control your thoughts. You can talk to your thoughts. One of my favorite pastors said this. He said, talk to your thoughts. Don't let your thoughts talk to you. So whenever your thoughts are telling you, I'm overweight, I'm ugly, I'm not enough. Um, mine would say, you're skinny, you're short. When I used to be short, I'm not anymore. <laughs> you're skinny, you're short, no one likes you, etc., etc. I would tell myself, no, I'm, I'm motivated. I'm going to gain weight. I'm going to get... Um, this, I'm gonna do this, etc., etc. So you talk to yourself, okay? And, and you're the only one that can control that. Um, there's another one, fear of rejection. Uh, someone said like, hey, I wanna ask this girl out or I wanna talk to this person, but I'm afraid they're gonna say no. Well, you not talking to them is pretty much them saying no as well. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know who said this, but they say you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Uh, it's kind of cliche, but it's so true. If you don't go and talk to that girl, you're never gonna know. Maybe she secretly likes you too. Maybe he secretly likes you. Um, whatever it may be, whoever you're interested in. You're never going to know unless you do it. Guys, failure sucks. It's hard, but you're not gonna get anywhere in life if you don't fail. Nobody does everything perfectly. Um, everybody fails. I was listening uh, to a book um, earlier by a pastor named Levi Lesko, and he talked about the song Let It Go from the movie Frozen and how the person that wrote it wrote 17 songs before that and they weren't enough. And then that last one was enough. So 17 times that person was told, no, that this is not good enough. And then the 18th song, they actually rewrote the movie because the song was so good. So the movie wasn't good enough for the song when before those 17 songs weren't good enough for the movie. So failure, guys, failure is so key to success in life. Failure is unbelievably key to success in life. So you're never going to know unless you do something about it. Um, Moving on after high school, so for those of you that are older, going into college and then college and onward, it's another step in life. Um, whether you're going to college or not, um, I would say you need to have a focus, you need to have something that you're going towards, otherwise it's very easy to become lazy, it's very easy to just sit and be apathetic, it's very easy to just not do anything unless you have a goal. Um, and don't have too many goals, too many re uh, resolutions or whatever, because then you're only going to be able to put a little bit of yourself here, a little bit of yourself here, a little bit of yourself here. Go after one goal, get it, and then go after another goal. Okay, so moving on after high school, just make sure that you're focused and understand it's another part of life and it's going to have its ups, it's going to have its downs, but you're going to learn from it and you're going to be a better person because of it. Um, next, being cheated on and rebuilding trust. I've been there more than you guys even know. Um, being cheated on hits home with me very, very strongly. Um, and this person wants to know about rebuilding trust. Can you rebuild trust? Uh, you can try, you can try, but you also can't change people, you know? Um, sometimes you just have to move on. If you see a repentant heart, if you see the heart of the person in there and they, and they admit, yeah, I messed up, I made a huge mistake, and, and then you, and then they rebuild trust over time and, and, and they don't mess up again, then, then yeah, you can rebuild trust. Everybody messes up. Nobody's perfect. I'm not even close to being perfect. I mess up so much and I hate my mistakes, but you learn from them. Um, and so in, in the scenario of being cheated on, first of all, don't let it make you question yourself. Don't let it make you question, am I good enough? Because I've been there. And yes, you're good enough. 
you are good enough. You are exactly who you are supposed to be. That person isn't good enough. They're the one that made the mistake. They went somewhere else to try and find um, happiness and it's just it's just their brokenness and you can't let it affect you but props to you for being a big person and wanting to forgive and, and work through things that was me um, I tried for a very long time to work on this in a relationship and it just wasn't there so yeah try and try and rebuild trust but if you can't don't beat yourself up over it you can't control um, other people um, next you are um, let's see you're, you're dealing with depression about school. You don't like going to school. You're being picked on. You're being bullied. Um, you don't enjoy it. Um, I didn't like school that much either. Um, I thought that it was cool learning stuff. I didn't like quizzes and tests. <laughs> Obviously, I don't. I guess some people do. Um, I didn't like being picked on or any of that kind of stuff. But guys, our minds are so unbelievably strong. Um, our minds are so powerful. They they can make us think positively and, and negatively. And, and we have control of, of this. You can't let this take control of you. So you can't wake up in the morning and go, oh great, another day of school. Because then your day is gonna be bad. You know what I mean? You get to choose, all right, I'm going to school today. This is gonna be awesome. I know that, that may seem over the top and a little bit ridiculous, but trust me when I say that you can choose to smile. You can choose to laugh. A lot of times people make fun of me in my videos, they say that I laugh too much and I'm like, literally what's wrong with that? What's wrong with being happy and being overly happy? I would much rather be that than just be mundane and boring, you know what I mean? Laugh, laughter is so good. Smile, um, talk to yourself and, and, and encourage yourself. It's not weird. For people that say that it's weird for you to like think and encourage yourself like, all right, Today is going to be a good day. I'm going to I'm going to be positive. I'm going to talk to this person. I'm going to do this. I'm going to work hard in class. I'm going to I'm going to prove myself wrong. You know what I mean? Like I remember being bad in school and and sometimes being like, "You know what? Uh-uh. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to prove myself wrong. I'm going to get a good grade on this. I'm going to absolutely crush it." Um, and then you do. And it's so awesome proving yourself wrong because then you build up more confidence in yourself and you're like, "Okay, I can actually do this." So don't be depressed. I know that depression sucks and, and being sad sucks. I've been there, I've been there. You have to find things that bring you joy and you also have to get away from the depression. Okay, so what I mean by that is again in the morning when you start thinking negative, uh-uh, get away from that. Find things that make you think positive and I promise you it'll change things um, for the good. Now this is the last one. I thought this was really interesting and I wanted to talk about it. Someone said, everyone thinks that I'm perfect um, but I'm not and when I mess up it's like a really really big deal um, it's a very interesting situation to be in um, you know like maybe you're the jock you're the quarterback you're the prettiest girl in school everybody wants to date you you're dating the hottest guy you're dating the hottest girl whatever it may be um, and and when you mess up everyone's eyes are on you and it just seems so much more escalated um, I experienced that. I've experienced that a lot in YouTube, especially over the last couple months and, and with some stuff um, that has just gone on where like if I mess up, it's on a massive scale because I'm supposed to be this guy. I'm supposed to be Mr. Positive. I'm not allowed to be negative. And when I am negative, people blow it out of proportion as if they've never been negative, as if they've never gone through something, um, or as if they've never gotten angry or upset. Um, and, and so it's, that's a hard place to be in. That is a very, very hard place to be in um, for you to have so many eyes on you and when you mess up um, for it to be, um, I don't know, just, just blown out of scale. So what I would say to that is, is be real with people. You know, like if somebody says you're perfect, be like, no, I'm, I'm far from perfect. Don't take perfect as a compliment, you know what I mean? Don't build it up to where it makes it worse in the future. Um, be real with people and when you mess up, admit to it and, and talk to the people that are talking to you about it and be like, yeah, I, I mess up. <laughs> I'm not perfect, I'm not the best test taker, I'm not any of this kind of stuff. But again, you can't please everybody, guys. That's, that's, that's seriously gonna be one of my biggest things that I just wanna tell people um, throughout, throughout life and, and throughout this year, 2017. You can't please everyone. Don't try to. You can't please everyone. You can't. 
you know? And, and for me, that really hits home. I can't make a video that's gonna get zero dislikes. <laughs> It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Um, so be confident in who you are. Be confident in the fact that you are exactly who you are supposed to be. Um, and if someone doesn't like you, okay, what does that matter? You know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter. There's so many people that dislike me and, and I can focus on that and let it get me down or I can focus on the people that do like me. So in your life when there are those negative people, get away from them, go towards the positive people, love them well, um, and and I guess I just wanna close on um, the fact that, guys, I'm, I'm not perfect, I'm not perfect, I mess up all the time. Um, and you guys don't see a lot of that, obviously, because you know, I, I make my videos and and everything, but um, I'm not a perfect part. I'm not a perfect person. I appreciate all y'all's compliments and and you saying like, hey, you're my role model, or I look up to you, um, and, and I do appreciate that. And, and I want to try and be a good role model for those of you that do look up to me. Um, but just know this: I'm gonna mess up. I'm going to. I'm not a perfect person, <laughs> and I'll admit to that. Um, and, and so definitely apply that to y'all's lives as well in knowing that since we're not perfect, you can't please everybody. All right? I love you guys so much. I mean that. If y'all want to see more of these videos, leave a like on it. Um, these are fun for me. I, I, like, I like relational stuff. Even though I'm talking to a camera, I really do feel like I'm talking to these people whose notes I wrote down. So down below, make sure that y'all comment your questions with hashtag Real Talk, and I'll see you on the next episode. All right? Peace.